Here we go, everyone. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. My dude looks like Tom Riddle when he was a kid. We worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me. Hello, mate. Oh, <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not fall. Hey! I've <laughs> <Cryptic. find> estimations <laughs> of this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatre goers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received right. your owl, I must yeah. say I best not speak here, Eleazar. Of course. What well, sick Why name, Eleazar? To Hogwarts. We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young child is not pudding. Me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Oh, it's hey, a Tom Riddle when he was a castle? kid. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. I feel like this guy. Pile of rocks, what are you talking about, mate? Love that. I assume Thestrals were explained to me before. Otherwise, that would have just freaked me the hell out. Ah, oh, let's go. Oh, I'm so keen to play this game. I still don't know whether or not I'm going to do a full walkthrough, guys. I'm just going to play, upload some stuff. Um... As and when. I'm just so excited. I've been waiting for this game for ages. Everyone has. I love how the wheels spin as well. I mean... Just <laughs> barely. And who is your travelling companion? Oh, what a no, I'm joking, I'm joking. New? You guys must have seen those memes. Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is What's that, a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Ah, oh, toast. We are afflicted with some magical gifts. What's going on then? Merlin's beard. How did you wait? We do. Oh. Uh. <laughs> oh. Uh. See you later, Osric. 
Oh my god! Is this Game of Thrones? Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Jesus. Oh, the driver just apparated immediately. He was like, I'm out. Absolutely not. Always something goes down on the way to Hogwarts, I swear to God. Guys, that was pretty, uh, that was pretty gnarly. Nearly just got our uh, faces ripped off within. I hadn't even got to Hogwarts you yet. Uh, you're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. A bit. It's Wigan Well Potion. Me? That stuff will write you in a second. G to heal. Yeah, you guys are gonna be watching this in probably 4K because of the specs. What happened? So hopefully you can really, you know. I can't believe he. Oh, George. What the hell got into that? Got into my dragon. Attacking a carriage midair. A typical dragon would never. Professor. Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered. Why am I sitting like that? Get up, bro. <laughs> An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. There we go. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. The, the set design is beautiful. I love it. Awesome. So, I guess, I mean, the way in which he's talking about the dragons infers that dragons are relatively normal in this time during the uh, Harry Potter timeline or like situation you know in the universe how far did that port key wow. take us farther from london than the carriage traveled we're that is somewhere so sick. in the scottish highlands so those ruins do you think the port key was meant to lead us there i do this has not been the day either of us expected but miriam sent that port key to george for a reason and i believe that she and now George died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. I mean, it's pretty obvious, dude. I, I, uh, there's one way, man. Mind your step. Well, that was uh, pretty freaking crazy um so yeah like i'm saying dragons i guess sounds just keeping interrupting me cool. a good question miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic yes teach ancient me the ways magic. so i can kill muggles yes a powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time Hogwarts Castle was built by, and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. I'm on the way. But, sir, Get back to the port key, everybody, and stick together. Evidence of lost magic. Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. I'm going to try and be a good boy right? and not it's kill not people. It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that one work you were practicing. Focus on Yes, the sir. Tap to form a basic cast. Oh, what? Do you see the... She'll whip that behind him. 
cool. Well, that was pretty sick. Oh, hello. That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. So I was facing the other way, and I just kind of. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> Your one looks improving with every car. Love that. Thank you, sir. Cool. You're a wizard, Ari. Ah, up there. Where, David Attenborough? My God, <laughs> this guy. Just this old dude now. just, just eating around. To be fair, I always rated that about Dumbledore. And it's mentioned in the books a lot. But he moves with like surprising speed and stuff. You may not like him, Minister. But you can't deny. Dumbledore's got style. Yeah! Yo! <laughs> this is so cool! Oh! Do you reckon I could blitz a seagull out of the sky? Nope! This is so epic! Very reminiscent of uh, Half Blood Prince, you know? Imagine, you just brought this student and he's just absolutely just destroying everything within his vicinity. To be fair, will you, wouldn't you do the same if you, if you got a wand? I suspect they value their privacy. That portkey led us here for a reason. Let's have a look really around beautiful. for anything that seems out of place. Out of place. God, look at this, guys. I mean, come on. Some kind. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. That would be pretty interesting because Trelawney was a seer. And I think her great 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 grandmother was a seer. And then in the books, Umbridge is like, oh, so you possess the sight. And she's like, yeah, so it tends to skip three generations. But we all hate Umbridge, and technically she was a seer because she did um, speak into existence the prophecy that created Harry Potter, essentially. Not created him, but you know what I mean. Alright, what am I doing? Am I just am I just walking around investigating? 36. We can go we can go this way. Do I have to get closer? What's this? Okay, I need to get rid of this thing. Professor I don't want to see them. Oh, it's me. Professor Fig, what are you saying, man? You... Oh, there he is. Hello, mate. What's going on here? How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again. Like the glow on the port key container. What's going on here, then? What are you? Investigate, gone. You've murdered my cat. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? Godric's heart. I don't heart. believe it. <laughs> oh, is this Green Gods? It's got to be. Yeah. Wow, look at the stalagmites. Wow, this is awesome. Hello? Does Mr. Harry Potter have his key? Oh, <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> mm, Nice nails, dude. I love it. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> <Ooh. clears throat> uh, <we're> <laughs> oh, look at this! <laughs> to 
Ross Wizarding Bank. Thank you. Vault number 12, I presume. <laughs> Precisely. The key? Hmm? The wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. No way. <laughs> this way, then. I remember being really scared of the first goblin that you get introduced to in Harry Potter. Um, when Harry first goes to Gringotts. His teeth, all played by Warwick Davis, the main goblins in the series. Grip hook and... Whatever the hell the name of that goblin was with the crazy teeth. And keep your hands inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> These make Hagrid feel really sick, and after Harry first went to get his stuff from Gringotts in the first book, Hagrid actually left him in the one shop with Ollivander and went to get a pint at the Leaky Cauldron. Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few. Whoa, this is awesome. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. Wow. You want I to love it. A what? Ah, there we go. That Interesting. Washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experience thief's downfall. The thief's downfall. There you go. Before, have you heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Wow. Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after I'm looking out for was dragons over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. To be fair to Hagrid, I would want to buff after that. Are you kidding me? Yes, look at this guy's little suit. <laughs> oh man. So cute. Look at him. Oh, oh actually, number. I don't know. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. He looks on nasty. What's that band on his arm? Interesting. God, just awesome. It's a whole nother, a whole nother level. Are we having a race? What is that guy doing? Professor, hmm? the old band that God was wearing was glowing. Like the glow you saw on the porky container. No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Vault number 12. Also, in the vault that Harry uh, goes to in the first film when they pick up the Philosopher's Stone, we, they're doing a it. A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. Like, that's kind of an ode to the original because when he puts his finger down the back of that uh, mechanical door, in the books he says that the vaults are checked every 10 years. So if somebody tries to break in, thank you for your help. I think the door like sucks them through or something like that. I can't remember. Cool. Like I, I love that. Love that. I'm not gonna do a Harry Potter. Let me get in there and have a look at this vault. I swear to God, it's just a brown paper bag. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure, sir. I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. Uh, Alright, considering what I just said... <sighs> not Professor, great. That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand. Let's. And focus. Oh wow. All right. Is 
There we go. Got it. Cast Revelio. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. That's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Uh, sir? I'm not even... I haven't even gone to school yet. And we're on some, like, kind of mission. Oh, that was this said with is meaning. No ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Similar to Hogwarts. Can't disapparate inside the castle unless you're the headmaster, then you can. To be honest, I my head would explode if this was my first day. I'm supposed to be going first day at school. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Lumos. What happened? When I moved <gasps> towards the glow, that chess piece? it suddenly seemed as if the ground no, was swirling not. about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Hmm. Revelio, I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. I... The reflection's still there, but the statue's so positions cool. don't match. Wait, Ooh. when you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm, perhaps you should cast Lumos. Yes! Let me cast Lumos. Lumos Maxima! Hell yeah. You've acquired the wand lighting charm, Lumos, which has automatically been slotted into your spell set. <gasps> Lumos creates a light at the tip of your wand and helps you see in dark areas. Lovely one. Lumos. Well done. Now this is sick. Is turning Hell yeah. Me. It right, let's line it up. Let's line her up. There we go. Mm, slightly foreboding. Really cool. Looks like the uh, queen piece, similar to um, the last film as well. Look out! Oh! Jesus Christ! I haven't played PC stuff in a while. I'm gonna be just go press a big. Let's go! Wow! I'm doing three damage. Are you kidding me? Oh, sh Jesus Christ. Okay. Wow, I am blowing up so many of these stone people. Come on, mate. Oh. Professor. I like the visualization of Protego, it's cool. Ow, I'm not doing very well here though, I'm getting my ass kicked. I'm just gonna wait for them to attack me. There we go, nice. Got the objective sorted. I'm staying close, dude! That was kinda difficult. 
Not gonna lie, just because I've not played PC in so long. Oh, cool. Uh, Professor, Professor Vig. Re Professor Vig. Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? Professor! Oh, What's I see happened? something over there. The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. We're going this way. Can I run? Aha! Shift is sprint. Okay. Ah, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. More. Lumos. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Love that. Oh, that was sick. Oh, that's sick. So you just... See. So you hold Q and then stun them. Oh, I love that. I kind of want... Oh, shit. I kind of want a few more like variations in spells, but... It's so early on in the game. I wonder if Lumos Maxima is going to be a spell in this game. Wow. That kind of reminds me of the archway that Sirius floats through in the um, Department of Mysteries. I'm just going to run into it because why not? we stronger and stronger by the minute. We have to act now. So many quotes from Harry Potter, just out of context. We love that. What is that? Oh, wow. There he is. Uh, there you are. How did you... What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. Oh, no that way. is expensive for viewing memories. Love that. I wonder. Check out my bow tie, man. Is it, is it a memory? Oh, that's so cool. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Follow my lead. Oh, no way. Oh, there he is. All is in place. The porky is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the ritual wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. I wonder if this character has any relation to Dumbledore. And I know that it's a long time before Dumbledore's time, but Percival is one of Dumbledore's That's what names. You're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were all look rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. 
But, sir, you shouldn't be in here. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me goblins have their own magic. Without ones, be very powerful as well. <coughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, he's going to get destroyed. Your next words wisely. I, I only meant that the instructions to Vault Twelve were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, see you later. Imagine if that was Mrs. Fig's like great 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 grandfather. Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Ah, oh, goosebumps. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Yep, casual. Casual. <laughs> oh. Ah, the winged boars. Yes, there it is. Wow. Oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. Yes, come on. I'm no sort expert, me. but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? <laughs> Oh, wow, it's really different. God, how humiliating to come in as a fifth year and get sorted. Fifth 
Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Prepare yourself to meet. I'm the surprised there's food on the tables them. if the sorting's still going on. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were ah, okay. complications. There we go. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. See you later, Mr. Fig. Cheers for basically all the trauma. Wow, there it is. A lot bigger than um, in the films. Wow, Professor like I Weasley. couldn't look more like Harry Potter if you One wanted to. to be Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Love the Weasleys. Uh... A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I can't wait to start classes. Uh, I can't wait to explore. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Mm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit, but your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Nope, not me. Mm. I wonder... Mm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Mm. What is it? Look at my badass scar. Give me is some ambition. ambition. I may seem single-minded, but it is important to go after what you want from life. Hmm, interesting. You've recently learned that you possess a rare ability. I detect a growing sense of ambition. An eagerness for power. The power. Perhaps you belong in Slytherin. Yes, I do. Yes! Oh, sweet! Okay. Wow, it really did just sort me into Slytherin. The sorting hat will take your choice into countless sorting into your house. Slytherin, known for cunning. Choose. I want to be in Slytherin, guys. So, hell, can yeah, let's do it. I was hoping he was going to scream out, Slytherin! Slytherin! Let's go! Yes, put me in those Slytherin robes. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. That Enough, is BS. It's not as though I've banned flying altogether, but don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I have a feeling I if Quidditch isn't going to be in the base I'm game. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Then it'll be like a DLC or an add-on, or maybe it's something you can unlock later on in the game. I don't know. Quite an entrance. We'll just have to Lovely kill him to and then reinstate and Quidditch. Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. Usually it's the prefix, isn't it? Interesting. It was Percy it's Weasley for Harry. For a student to begin as a fifth year, it may be a bit of a challenge. But one I'm sure you're up for. I can be quite resourceful. I suspected as much. 
This is the oh, I'm just Tom Riddle, aren't I? Look at me. In order to enter, one must simply speak the correct password. Ah, oh, yes, yes. Very well. Aspiration. Aspiration. Yo. That is amazing. That's awesome. Let's go. Done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. So Slytherin Common Room is... Sleep well. Located under the Black Lake. I'm sure a lot of you know that already, but yeah. And we do get to see it once, I think, in the Chamber of Secrets. Hell yeah, check it out. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Oh, this is sick. So this is our like dorm room, I guess. Our four bed, a four poster bed. Sorry. We've got a tankard. Was getting on it last night. Sick. This is awesome. Pretty cozy. I mean, even though it's like I said, located under the lake. Um, yeah, it's, it's got like a kind of warm feeling to it. I like this a lot. It's awesome. I wonder if Slytherins can see the giant squid um, from the windows. Imagine. That'd be insane. Oh, this is so cool. Yeah, so the one time we do get to see the Slytherin Common Room are in order. is in Chamber of Secrets when Harry and try and get out of Malfoy, who the... Yes. Hello, mate. Okay, I need to chill out. Jesus Christ, that's gonna cost some. Uh, oh no, it's just repaired straight away. Let's go over here see what this guy's gonna say about me. Hello, mate. Can I help you? Oh, you're the new fifth year. Oh, <laughs> what was that? Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figs, who merely joined us for the ride. Still. Impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Fig are all right. It was dreadful, certainly, but quite an experience nonetheless. Interesting perspective. How did you and Fig manage to escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. Uh, what are you reading, bro? What, you what do you reading? already know? Tell me. Up. Has a few interesting things, but not exactly what I was looking for. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough. But not every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks. Ooh. So, I was wondering if you could tell me about Hawkeyes. Are you saying some spells aren't taught at Hogwarts? Which ones? Seems I may have met a kindred spirit. <laughs> that is a conversation for another time. It was good meeting you. Good luck today. Chris here. <laughs> joking. Cool, interesting. I do really feel like my character is reminiscent of um, Tom Riddle and Half-Blood Prince. I don't know why he's just kind of got that look. His voice sounds somewhat similar. Wow, look at that. Look at the windows. I wonder if it's going to confirm that we are under the lake. Let's have a look. I think I just saw a fish. A little bit of chess. I, want to think that again. I like it. I really like the sort of gothic vibe down here. I'm really glad I chose Slytherin. Gryffindor we've seen like a million times. Weirdly, my girlfriend and I just went to a zoology museum only yesterday. If you do that, you'll lose. So Trust this is kind of cool. What animal is that? A unicorn. It's got to be. Yeah, cool. That's awesome. Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. 
Don't say I didn't warn you. Checkmate. Told you. <laughs> you should have listened to me. Ah, oh, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills in a broom are legendary. Um, I'll be nice to her. Perhaps Professor Fig's friend would have survived if we'd had your help. Precisely. I'll be nice. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. God, my guy looks so freaking evil. Uh, you seem to know a lot about wizard. Do you fly Do you a lot? Have a lot of Why time not? Tell to me. Fly during school. I make the time. There's nothing like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. Hell yeah. Are you a keen wizard chess fan? You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much too sedate a pastime for me. Also, it's simply not that challenging. The moves are always so obvious. Why does no one else see it? Wow. <laughs> Farewell then. Wow, she's so arrogant. <laughs> but I love, I love, why not? Why not? See ya. We're in Slytherin. Come on. Goodbye, Amelda. Nice meeting you. Romilda. Romilda Vane. Kind of sounds like that. Sneaks Harry Love Potion. Well, she's not doing it because she thinks you're the chosen one. Well, I am the chosen one. Love that scene. Great stuff, right? Well, uh, am I in interacting with this? That's corruption. That's corrupt. Also, who's left their manky ass half eaten apple on a book? Guys. There we go. Oh, I wish. I wish I could destroy more stuff. Wow, this, I mean, re really? A telescope underwater? Hmm. I, I think I heard one. Oh, this is awesome. I really didn't didn't factor in that it was going to be so, no so like, big a part of the common room. Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the oh, common blind. room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm Ominous. Ominous Gaunt. Nice to meet you, Ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. Ominous Gaunt. Okay, guys, there are so many odes to, like, okay, so, so with, with the names. So earlier we heard um, Percival, and Dumbledore's full name is Albus Percival Wolfric Brian Dumbledore. He says that in Order of the Phoenix when he goes to Harry's trial. Um, so I don't know if there's any relation there or whether or not Percival, obviously, he was a great wizard. Perhaps Dumbledore's parents named him after that because of Percival's achievements or, you know, um, magical prowess. Here as well, we've just got another... Like nod to um, the books because in the films I don't think we're introduced to Marvolo Gaunt or any of the Gaunt family, and the Gaunts are um, Sal Salazar Slytherin's descendants and the last surviving ones in the Half Blood Prince. And Harry and Dumbledore, when they're sort of learning about Voldemort and stuff like that, go back in time via the Pensive to check out what's going on with the Gaunts. Um, because that's where the ring uh, was taken from by Riddle, um, and they yeah they had like I think they had a snake nailed to the door. They spoke in parcel tongue. Merope, um, Marvolo Gaunt's daughter, was Voldemort's mum. She fell in love with uh, Riddle, who rode past quite often because the Gaunts live in a small house um, within the vicinity of the big like manor house, which is where the Riddles lived. <laughs> And in the book, like, she, Merope gets treated really badly by her brother and her father. It's a really interesting storyline because um, I think a ministry wizard ends up going there to try and basically bring Gaunt's son in for trial uh, because he assaulted uh, a muggle, perhaps with a knife or something like that. I can't quite remember. Um, and in doing so, it will end badly, ends in a duel kind of thing, like swearing, spitting, casting spells, etc. Uh, and then he returns with, oh, his name is Ogden. Ogden, that was his name. He returns with a bunch of other ministry officials, brings him in. Then Gaunt gets um, put into Azkaban. Yeah, the, uh, it's just, it, there's, so, there's so much that's left out of the films. But yeah, Gaunt goes to Azkaban, and that's the way, like, that's how he got 
part of the memory as well. I think Dumbledore went to Azkaban, um, retrieved the memory because Gaunt had had his memory removed by Tom Riddle, Voldemort. Uh, I'm pretty sure. And then Dumbledore got the memory back of what was going on, used it to um, exonerate Gaunt, but then he died in Azkaban. So, yeah, anyways, wow, what a tangent, but there you go, I am obsessed with Harry Potter, clearly, but yeah, Gaunt, I don't know if he's a descendant, not a descendant, sorry, I don't know whether or not he's part of that bloodline, which would mean we are technically talking to a direct descendant of Salazar Slytherin, one of the founders of Hogwarts, very cool, should have just said that at the beginning, anyway, um, I'm not going to be an arrogant asshole, I'd terrifying. I'd have arrived on time and without a dragon attack en route, I'm sure, how horrible, I can only imagine. Well, it's good to have you in Slytherin. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here. Did did you suspect you'd be in Slytherin? So here we might Were get some information about his, his bloodline. Most certainly. My family on my father's side are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. There you go. Not something I'm especially proud of, mind you. He was obsessed with blood status, a pure blood maniac. Unfortunately, most of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. Wow, I'm such a nerd, but I love it. Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. It is fun to play along, though. Been known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. <laughs> Lol, it's jokes. Thank nice meeting you, mate. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. Is the new fifth year Slytherin in here? Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. Yes, I'm here. Oh, that'd be so cool if we saw a mermaid. Oh, what have I done? I just knocked over something. Sorry. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Or like the this, the giant squid or something. It is kind of crazy that Students are just trusted with essentially guns. A kind of metal wand muggles use to kill each other. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most Samuel of Samuel Ravenwood. Only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. Ordinary Wizarding Level Examination. Yes, your Ordinary Wizarding Level Exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the Headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here cool. you are. The Holy Grail. This is awesome. What is it? Wow. It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Sick. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? <laughs> I want to learn unforgivable curses right away. <laughs> now you kind of look that to later on in the game. So guys, that was episode one of Hogwarts Legacy. I've completely forgotten to record an outro, so I've had to get up at six in the morning right now. And uh, I'm tired. Now, I'm not sure what I'm going to do about the format. I really like just talking about the game, exploring, obviously playing the main storyline and stuff like that. I don't know whether or not you guys want me to basically just upload like hour long videos or do you want me to cut it down to 20 minutes, maybe highlights of what I'm doing. I don't know if you want like a proper walkthrough or just sort of what I get up to in the game when I'm playing during the day. So let me know down in the comments below what you guys want to see. Maybe I can do both. I'll see what I can do. Follow me on TikTok, follow me on Instagram. The links will be in the description below. 
But so far, I'm loving it as like a Harry Potter fan uh, on a kind of unhealthy level. This game is like everything I could have imagined and more. We still got so much to go. And yeah, I just want you guys to hopefully gain something out of the experience uh, that you wouldn't with somebody else whilst you're uh, watching my videos because of how much I know about the wizarding world of Harry Potter. But I just, I just love Harry Potter so and I'm hoping for those of you that haven't read the books, I don't really fancy reading the books, you get to gain a little bit of extra knowledge about certain characters and things. Obviously it's off off the cuff, like off, well, obviously it's off the cuff, so some of the times it might not be like 100% accurate, but I'm pretty confident in my abilities. Anyways guys, have a good rest of your day, thank you very much for watching, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you guys on the next video.